It's really normal in the first 14 weeks or so for nobody to be able to notice that you're pregnant on the outside. Your uterus is very small and it's living inside your pelvis, so it doesn't even start to stick up to your belly until at least 12 weeks for most people. The early stage of pregnancy is very frustrating for lots of women because people don't know they're pregnant, but yet they feel like they're further along than they actually are. One of the main things that you're gonna notice is that you're very exhausted. Um, you're gonna notice a significant amount of fatigue. It's a workload on your cardiac health, and I'm not used to being winded going up just a flight of stairs, and that gets a little tiring after a while. Sometimes tenderness in the gums, achy joints, the nausea, the vomiting, all of those can be expected during pregnancy. The nausea and vo sometimes vomiting starts in a, at about six weeks of pregnancy for most women and can go on up to the end of the first trimester, about 14 weeks. I lost 10 pounds in my first pregnancy in the first trimester and this time, same kind of challenges. I was really sick. Um, I lost seven pounds this time. Women are often concerned that they're losing weight in the beginning of their pregnancy because they're unable to eat, take their vitamins and such due to the nausea and vomiting. It almost never causes a problem for the baby. Um, it has to be extremely severe before the baby gets affected. You just need to do the best you can. Keep yourself well hydrated. We'll keep an eye on your weight. If you're not keeping anything down, then you do want to seek care. If the prenatal vitamins aren't working right now, you can try taking it at night. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes taking half in the morning, half at night sometimes will help. You can always do things like eat ginger, drink peppermint tea. Some of those just natural remedies can be really helpful. I found out very quickly that if I let my stomach get too empty, I would just feel very queasy and very uneasy. But once I started kind of making sure I had snacks every couple hours or just, you know, ate something small like crackers or nuts before bedtime, it was completely fine. I actually never physically got sick. So as we're heading towards week 13, you may notice that some of the symptoms start to improve and that some of the interventions that you put in place, the exercise, the increase in hydration, can also alleviate a lot of those symptoms.